What's up YouTube, Tag All Star here, and today on USB Heat we're going to be doing a drip fill on a BMW E46, so let's jump right into it. Go ahead and select it. Alright, so let's see what inch we have. So we have the rotary. That's a stock motor. So BMW V8. I like that sound. It has more meteor V8 sound for the most part. So go with that. Go ahead and max it out with the parts out of my inventory, ultimate. I'm gonna say ultimate plus. And for turbos, usually for drifting, I'll go with the dual turbo. Because with the dual tur turbo, you know, essentially it gives you more low in power, more torque down low. Which is for drifting, that's pretty much all you need. Uh, we don't go with the big bottle, we go with the little tanks. Let's see, with the five tanks. It's not like I use nitrous that much anyway. Alright, so there's been a lot of debates on USB heat about what's the best drift parts, and apparently for, I guess, rear wheel drive cars. The uh, actual drift parts aren't really the best thing for it. I've seen people use, I say, like Speed Cross or Showcase. I personally don't want to use Speed Cross because it just makes your car sit up real high. I'm not a big fan of that. And so I just go with the Showcase. We're going to do the brakes. And as well for the tires, I've tested a couple of them. It seems like stock tires seem to be pretty good and then depending on your car and your setup and what suspension or diff you have on the car it can change you know how your tires feel and stuff like that people have, I've seen people using speed cross as well or even drift tires and I've seen the showcase tires they seem to be pretty alright and then a new one I've seen on YouTube is people using drag tires which is pretty interesting so I'm gonna go ahead and buy. Let me see. I have two speed cross. I have two drags. I have one drift. I'm gonna buy extra drift one. So we're gonna test out the drift tires first, and then I'll test out the speed, the showcase, and uh, the drag tires. Let's see how they feel. The clutch for gearbox. Mm. Some people say you use, that if you're using manual, the manual option, that you should go with more gears, but I'm not really sure about that because sometimes more gears, the it's just banging off limiter in each gear, which I'm not a big fan of. So we just stick with the six speed. I'll go ahead and buy the five speed and test that out later to see which I like better. In terms of diffs, I'm just go with the, let's see. I'm just going to go with the showcase diff and I'm going to buy the drift diff to test out. Let's see if it makes much of a difference. So there's that. I'm going to do customization options.
All right, let's check our current setup. Drift tires and the drift diff. Let's see how it goes. So off the back and alright so uh, it just wants to pull a little too much angle. I'm trying to control the throttle. Car's very quick though. Just a little tough control with the with the drift dude. See if we change the diff that'll make a difference. We'll keep the same tires. Showcase diff. Showcase tires. So showcase diff, showcase tires, and showcase suspension. In this game, you don't really want to go forward drift because it's pretty much uncontrollable. The car just pulls way, way too much angle. And it's extremely hard to hold it, especially with transitions. Okay, it's a little bit better with the showcase, but still hard to control the angle. Okay. A little bit better. Let's do a speed cross. So this time it's showcase suspension, speed cross tires, and showcase diff. Yeah, this is pretty good too. I feel like the showcase is a little bit easier to slide with. The speed cross is a little more grip, I feel. Mm. Yeah, but the showcase, it feels like it's a little easier in transitions to throw around compared to the speed cross. Now we're going to try the drag tires. So now it's drag tires with showcase suspension and showcase differential. The green seems pretty good as well. Barely wants to transition. But it's holding its momentum a lot better. 
Oh. Yeah. Now, no cop tried to drag tires on his uh, the Mustang and the 350 Z, and it actually worked really well on those two cars, especially the 350 Z. Honestly, it's kind of between, I say, in terms of feel for me, I say it's in between the showcase and the uh, drag tires for this car anyway. So now I'm going to do, going to go do a, a drift trial. I'm going to start with the showcase first and then I do drag tires after that. I usually like do this one right here because it's just nice and tight. Now we're going to put the tires to the test and see which one I like better. And of course you can just try this at home if you have the game and see which fits you because everyone has different drive styles, especially with drifting. So it's all about a matter of preference for what tires you're going to use and what setup you want to go with. Trying to grip up on the inside. Stuff for these tires. Mind you, mind you were on the showcase tires. Let you drag and see how we do with that. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, already much more control. It's funny how in this game, game they design drift parts, but the best way to drift is to use everything but the drift parts. Glitch it through this thing. Who would have thought that drag tires would actually be good for doing the exact opposite? Kind of ridiculous. Oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Now we'll be doing some some more drift builds on other cars and, and test those out and see how they feel. I've already done like a 350 Z build, uh, Mustang build. I want to do the Z4 build as well. Or I may mean, I say the Supra. Might as well call it the Supra if that's exactly what it is and it looks like. And as well I have a Subaru so we'll do an all-wheel drive build on that. So I've noticed with all-wheel drive, it's best to just go with all drift stuff. And it's kind of like an easy button on it to be honest. It's a lot easier than the real drive. 
over to him, isn't it? And as you can see, obviously the drag tires are better. There you go, there's my E46 drift bit. And we also using drag tires. Seems to be the most smooth, smooth, I guess the smoothest and it provides the most grip to keep your momentum up. Because in this game, you know, there's no speed boost for drifting, so you have to make sure to keep your momentum up at all times. So, appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And stay tuned for my next drift build. Peace.